All right, temperatures remain still quite hot here in the northwest. Depending on where you are, it is hotter like the Willamette Valley, uh, even down into southern portions of Oregon and northern California. So we'll watch that. We'll watch for the severe threat off to the east and then some locally heavy rain where the thunderstorms develop. develop. But uh, the Willamette Valley, uh, definitely warm yesterday. We had 92 in Seattle, 105 in Medford, and 108 in the Redding area, uh, 90 degrees in Casper. And that's where we, again, uh, may see some shower and thunderstorm activity today, which could be strong to severe. We uh, had temperatures that were anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees above average in Seattle and Spokane. So with that said, more heat expected today. Heat advisories and excessive heat warnings where daytime highs on this Tuesday will be into the 90s and uh, triple digits. Boise at 98, 95 in Salt Lake and 89 in Casper. Uh, for tomorrow, we're still expecting some warmer conditions, but notice that Seattle won't be up quite as hot as it has been. 75 degrees there, uh, 99 in Medford. So we're starting you see the heat break just a little bit. So there's your marginal threat of severe weather uh, from Casper down to Cheyenne. Even Denver kind of getting clipped by that marginal severe threat. By Wednesday, it shifts off into the plains, and then we are kind of high and dry here in the northwest over the next few days. But if showers and storms through the Intermountain West and places east of that, some of the rain could be quite heavy as that impulse of energy shifts east. Uh, locally heavy pockets of rain, but as you head farther west today, hot and dry with some spots to the 90s and triple digits.